Good morning, guys. Uh, Friday, my day off. Uh, rent has been paid on time and not short for the first time in a few months. So my bank account isn't looking great. But um, yeah, I've got $125 to go sourcing today. Uh, I'm going to have a few of my spots, uh, including EB Games, because I just know this one honey hole of mine is going to perform because there's a ton of stuff on sale. So uh, yeah, my budget is $125. We're going to head up three of my favorite spots and go from there. And we're just waiting for my car to warm up because this cold front has passed. But it's still pretty cold because it's a Canadian winter. So talk to you guys in a bit. All right. Uh, stop one, got here, warm up, it's a sunny day, I think it's going to be a good day, so let's go in. All right, so I'm actually kind of shocked. They really didn't have anything that was online on the website. Uh, there's a couple of things I picked up. There's some, these are, uh, you can't see them, Disney princess plates. Uh, I flipped those on Marketplace. Disney fans always go kind of bonkers. MSRP is 40 bucks. I paid five, so I got two sets of plates. And there was like a Harry Potter baby clothing set. Uh, MSRP was 30, so I spent 15 I'll probably make about six five seventy cash local sales, and uh, that's a good first stop. All right, so I just finished up at Mission Mart. Uh, not a lot there. I was super bummed. Uh, usually, I find you know a couple good things, but. Uh, I found a board game that was worth a decent amount of money. It was six or seven bucks, um, but it missed pieces. Uh, board games, I never learn. I always try and grab them. I always look them up. I always hope they're worth something, and very rarely have I found a couple winners. Um, one thing I will say about board games, the heavier the better. If it's a newish, heavy board game, it's probably you know something that someone has paid an arm and a leg for and uh, is worth a decent amount of cash. Um, I always get hooked up with DVDs, though. That's one saving grace of this place, is there's always DVDs. Uh, I always say their New Year's resolution failure is my gain. I always pick up, like, brand new Pilates uh, yoga DVDs. I think this one was going for about 25 This one was going for, like, $40. Um, and then this book, super sketch, like, Satan is taking over the world, uh, conspiracy theory. But, you know, comps were there, so I paid 2 bucks for this. So, on to the next one. So I always say, look at these little bags. They're always cheap. They're $1.99. That was the most expensive, $4.99. Um, I haven't tested this guy. It's a Sony Walkman. Comps were going for about 70 bucks. One of them had 32 watchers on it. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna test it out best I can. Um, if it doesn't work, you know, I took a risk at five bucks. Same with this guy. Um, this is just a personal cassette recorder. These still sell, not crazy money, but for two bucks, I could sell this for about 20 and you know, that's 10 times my money. And it's small and easy to ship. So I'll get these two tested, I'll clean them up and we'll see what happens. So I'm just at home making some tea. Uh, part of that $5 Friday promotion, this is a Disney backpack, $45 MSRP, really nice. Uh, same thing, Toy Story, this is also $5, really cool. And this Harry Potter one. Uh, I'm going to list them all on eBay. I'll probably do uh, 30 to 35 I'll probably do free shipping. I can just chuck these in a big bubble mailer. They go pretty cheap. Uh, and with the exchange rate, that should cover that. But I'm pretty happy about today's finds. All this for 15 plus tax. And as always, I try and be as transparent as possible. Um, I visited four different places today. And this is what I spent. So EB Games. Actually, it's backwards. We're going to change that around. Okay, so I visited four different spots today. I did a little bit of retail arbitrage, 
and some thrifting. Thrift stores were actually a dud. That never happens. I've, this is the opposite of my normal Friday. But EB Games, I got uh, those two play sets and the baby clothes for sixteen thirty eight, brand new. Mission Mart, I got a book and two DVDs for seven bucks. Uh, Value Village, I got those electronics and those Walkman. Uh, and same thing, I got three items at the other EB Games for sixteen thirty eight. I spent fifty two dollars and seven cents. Potential profit is between two hundred and two fifty after fees. So today wasn't as profitable as I thought, not in the way I thought. Uh, I thought I would hit up EB Games and have a couple good things and then thrift stores would hook me up because I haven't been there in a week. Uh, thrift stores were a bit of a bust, but this is why you source from multiple places. You source online, you source in retail, you source in thrift stores, Facebook Marketplace. You have to be creative and you have to adapt and you have to think outside the box because at the end of the day, there's stuff that other people are sleeping on or people have picked over and you can't just show up to one spot and expect it to always work for you. So always source from everywhere, Kijiji, Craigslist, you name it, Facebook Marketplace. The free section, always look at the free section. I've got some really good flips. I sold the fax machine yesterday for 70 bucks on um, eBay. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to ship, but that's pure profit. So don't sleep on Facebook Marketplace, don't sleep on free stuff, and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.